Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. Pretty recently Google completely revamped the Google Forms interface making it extremely customizable and adding a bunch of new features and they recently announced five more updates to Google Forms that really improved the experience so I just wanted to touch on those really quick. So one of the updates was just recently made available for Google Docs and Slides and now it's come to Google Forms so it allows you to search for different features inside the menu. So you can go to help and then search the menus for something. So for example, I could search for video and it'll show me how I can insert a video inside of my form. So that's just a really quick shortcut to add new features to your Google form. And the next couple of updates are added to the just the general form settings of your Google form. So you can see here at this top section, I have two new options only allow one response per person so that's a good way to ensure that people don't submit multiple responses and shuffle question order so that's a really good option if you are conducting a survey like I am here so it'll present the questions in a randomized order so you don't get any response bias by uh, based on the order of the questions and if you're using grid style questions like a lot of people do in surveys is a great, great use case for that but this most recent update allows you to make sure that people submit at least one response per row. So for example, this question here says, how valuable did you find the following sessions at GCon? So I can say, you know, list the each individual keynotes that I had, and I can say on a scale, very valuable all the way to not valuable and didn't attend. So at the bottom here, I can say, require at least one response per row. And lastly, once you're ready to send and share your form, you have the option to automatically create a shortened URL uh, using this goo.gl slash forms option. So like I said, that makes uh, sharing your form really easy with this nice shortened link. So if you have any questions about these recent updates to Google Forms or the past updates to Google Forms, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.